For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwals Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving a basically an advice video on condensation slash leaking. Is it condensation? Is it leaking? This is a massive issue um, in currently in the camping world, mainly because condensation is a massive hindrance and if one thing you do find it's becoming very, very more common and it's very much nearly almost mistaken for leaking. Leaking, um, tents these days are very, very waterproof and it's very unlikely they will leak. I will admit there will be occasional issues when you do have a genuine leak, um, but condensation probably is 90, 99% of the time actually what is um, causing moisture or water inside the tent. So the principle really is because we now use more fabrics uh, which are lighter weight, durable, and certainly um, easier to quicker and dry. So it just basically makes things a lot simpler. If you've got a wet tent, you can dry it out quicker. That's down to what basically the customers and ourselves as the retailers want out of the actual tent itself. Something that's quicker and easier. And that's, you see that certainly with inflatable tents like this one here. In years gone by, it's been a sort of polyester, polycotton material, which naturally is actually breathable as well as waterproof. So the joys of that is when you get moisture in tents, naturally the weave actually opens up with the heat allows the air to pass through it, so it's a lot cooler inside and yet again helps with condensation. Condensation can occur whether someone's in the tent or not, just nature down to the temperature change externally, let alone when we're inside of it and actually exhaling. Materials we use now is more like polyester, so it's a non-breathable material which they put a PU coating on to make it waterproof. The problem with this, like I said, is it becomes very waterproof and in some cases when you've got something like this, um, you can take sort of uh, a 6,000 mil hydrostatic head for this particular tent. So essentially what that means is you have, um, they put a the material down, put a round cylinder on top, fill the water up till they get three pins of, pin drops of water come through. And that's when they define what is waterproof is. So this essentially can take six meters of water pressured on this material. Ministry of Defense classified waterproof as approximately sort of seven, 800. So, so 6,000 meters is, you said, astronomically waterproof. But like I said, it's not then breathable. So the problem is, even though the water's not going to come in, moisture is not going to go out. So when you find yourself um, in here, yet again, with temperature change, you find uh, the windows are sort of misted up or there's droplets along the uh, roof. That's purely down to condensation. It's not actually water coming through the tent itself. What they obviously do is, when you've got very much waterproof material like this, they obviously need to somehow put it together and sew it. So they're making holes, they're stitching holes in there. Now what they do to, you're gonna make that waterproof is they actually heat weld the seams. They put a clear tape, heat weld the joins, and that keeps the water from coming in. One person will actually um, exhale in a night's sleep uh, one pint of water. So you're talking uh, about 560 milliliters, there or thereabouts. Um, so that's an awful lot of water you're exhaling for just one night's sleep. I mean, there we go. That's a 500 mill, milliliter bottle of water. So one person, my myself, in a night's sleep, in um, any tent, I'm gonna exhale that. So bear in mind this is an eight man tent and you're gonna have eight people inside of here. We'll say, we'll say six people. So you've got a nice six beds at the back. Um, so six people, that's gonna be about three, just over three liters of water, which is gonna look like that. So again, that's a lot of water just for one single night. And that's why, again, using non-breathable materials um, makes condensation even more apparent. And now because we've got sewn in ground sheets, which again is a beautiful thing, and it's something that makes um, camping um, a lot more of a luxury item, luxury process to do, as what, again, everyone really wants, um, it, it basically escalates that and you makes it more visible condensation and you do find more water inside your tent these days because it's got nowhere to escape. Previously in years gone by again when we still have material like this if you didn't have a sewn in ground sheet it's fine because the water would literally just come around find the lowest point and then go outside the tent. Because it's sewn in ground sheets now it collects it stays and it's much more noticeable and like I said water will always naturally try and find the lowest point so when you find something like this in a inflatable tent naturally what you will find is it will try and get to the lowest point. So you noticeably find it round the base of the beams because it is the lowest point. Or yet again, it will try and drip off um, hanging points, whether it be lanterns, um, bedrooms, uh, zip pullers, anything like that, it will naturally try and come off to find the ground. What I'm gonna do is something a bit, in fairness, a bit stupid. 
but I'm going to um, take one and a half litres of water and chuck it around a tent. The main reason I'm going to do this is because um, when water is on a flat surface, it looks like an awful lot more than it is. In a container like this, yet again, it doesn't seem an awful lot, but when I chuck it around a tent, it will seem like an awful lot of water. And this is purely only three people in a six man tent. So like I said, as ludicrous as it is, I'm going to do that, but if you give me a second. One thing manufacturers are now trying to do to overcome the issue is they're putting more ventilation panels in. You see it um, more in the newer tents that you get along, uh, mainly just to give a, a circulation of air to try and keep it as cool and help with condensation as possible. Now, tents gone by have always since had um, a ventilation panel above the bedroom here, and it's still the case now. Um, but then again, like I said, with sun and ground sheets, the moisture is trapped even more than it has been um, in the last sort of 10 years. So that's when, it, you know, something like ventilation panels on the sides, it's um, absolute paramount that you do have it open, even if it's a cold day, because it's just going to help with condensation. Now, okay, on to being a bit daft and chucking some water around the tent. So naturally what I'm going to do is actually be a little bit cunning and do it in sort of um, strategic places that you might necessarily find it coming. So A, um, bottom of the beams, uh, beneath hanging points and things like that. So, uh, all for being a bit stupid. So we'll put a bit down here. That's fine. We'll chuck some in the middle. We've got some hanging points here, can go in there. Down the other beam here as well. That's all fun. We're gonna chuck it around. In fact, do you know what? Just Right, so that's one and a half litres of water. So like I said, three people. That's all it is, three people. Um, now the actual, in the atmosphere inside a tent, um, you will actually, one of those litres, so essentially two people, um, will cling and stay in the air. But in essence, the other four people, if you have six many people sleeping in the tent, is still gonna collect on the ground sheet, um, as you see. So that's why, like I said, there's more mesh doors, more mesh panels on the actual tent itself. Um, so one thing, I will actually do now is sort of give you a bit more of a better indication by picking up the camera and showing you what I've got here, just so you can necessarily see. If you want to play ball, that is. So, down here straight away you can see, obviously there's a hell of a lot more water, and like I said, it looks like an awful lot more on a flat surface. Bear in mind, like I said, there's only, only one and a half litres of water, so three people so when you come over to the beam, I've only actually put a little dabble down here, but you can physically see the water there. And actually in terms of depth as well, you've got quite a bit of depth there. That's an awful, yeah, it's quite a lot of water and that's not really much actually about. So same for here, you've got numerous amounts all over. I'll move to the other beam, I've done it as well. Actually I've checked more down here. So that's why sort of using ventilation panels is now even more important than ever. One thing you will find necessarily in hotter climates is uh, it comes more apparent and obviously you, in hotter weather like dogs, you essentially pat, pant more. And I've managed to actually spill some on myself beforehand as well, which is even better. So. Uh, that's really just a case of against condensation leaking. If you do have any more questions or queries, do by all means um, comment below or talk to us on our Facebook page. You can always get hold of us uh, via email as well. But um, in essence, that's sort of a bit more of an idea on condensation inside a polyester tent.